weeks to go before Christmas. People are rushing to get their shopping done. Don't we know it? But what is the best why, best way, I should say, to buy all of those presents? Are in-store credit cards worth it or wasted? Certified financial planner Joe Burt here to talk about the perks and the drawbacks. Joe, good morning. morning always Andrea. good to see you. Good I always like to ask you about yes. these department store credit right. cards because they seem to hit you up every time you shop. What do you think are the benefits of those store credit cards? Well, the benefits are with some stores, you get an automatic discount. I know with Target, you use their Target credit card, you get 5%. I think with Macy's, if you use their card, you get free gift wrapping and that kind of stuff. And sometimes they'll get, let you in on the early bird sale, so to speak. But you got to be careful. You know my definition of a credit card, Andrea? It's a, it's a means for buying something you don't need <laughs> at, a price you, at a price you can't afford with money you don't have. That's what a credit card that is. That pretty much sums it up right there. <laughs> so you got to be careful. But, they're, but they can, but you want to be careful because before you know it, you start piling these things up and then they affect your credit your credit score which isn't good because as we've said in the past your credit score determines your your interest rates you're gonna get on a home uh, your automobile sometimes your ability to get a job so you don't want that credit score to get whacked up okay drawbacks I know you mentioned several yes. of them here any yeah. others we should be aware of well if you're gonna use that credit card a lot of times they entice you to use it because you're gonna get a discount for buying something sure. and as we said in the past if you're buying a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff Big and they're gonna give, yeah, if they're gonna give you a couple 20% uh, off that's four hundred dollars yeah. on a twenty on a two thousand dollar purchase, so that's not bad. But you, what you want to be careful is you get that card, and then you start making those payments. If you miss a payment or you're late, boom, that interest rate is going to jump up to twenty twenty two percent, and then it then it's tough to get out of. Yeah, it's, on that yeah, three thousand dollar sofa that gets really yeah, expensive. Yeah, it gets very very fast. expensive. And they said that you know about ten percent of the people are still paying for last year's Christmas purchases oh, on their credit cards. Goodness gracious! The best thing to do is pay cash. You know, yeah. keep it keep it down and face the new year without this debt. Okay, what if we go overboard? What's the best way to get back on well, track? Well, the first thing is to assess the damage. You know, how, <laughs> yes. much, how much do we owe? And, be honest about and, it, right? Yeah, be honest about it and recognize that you've got a situation. And if you recognize you're going to pay the minimum payment, you're going to be making those credit card payments come next December. So what you want to do is look at how do I get more money? Maybe a part-time job. You know, it's not pleasant, but maybe get work for a little while. Get that cleaned up. Or as we said in the past, put some stuff on eBay or Craigslist. Or do something, right. you know, or, and then start looking at those credit cards and start paying down the, the financially the best thing to do is to pay down the high interest rate ones first. But the psychological way that most people like to approach this is pay the smallest balance, get rid of that one, then move on to the next one, next one, next. And you feel like you're accomplishing something. Yeah, those but, small victories make yeah, a big difference. Yeah, they do. It's like dieting, you know, a little yeah. bit of time and suddenly right. you feel good. Five yeah. pounds here, you ten got, pounds there. It does add it. up. It does. But it takes time <laughs> and it takes discipline. And unfortunately, that's what most people don't have today, whether it comes to dieting or spending money. And that's why most of us are fat and in debt. In debt. There we go. <laughs> Joe Wilson, where can people find you? Just Google me, Andrea. Two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. All right, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Now